Standing in the soft embrace of the evening, under the muted glow of the patio lights, I find myself dressed in a striking red gown that cascades down to the floor. The fabric clings to me, outlining a silhouette I'm still learning to call mine. She stands before me, elegant in her black lace, her expression a mix of admiration and affection. Dylan, you look absolutely stunning, she whispers, her breath warm against my cheek. It's a strange, thrilling sensation to be called beautiful, to see myself through her eyes, not as the awkward boy who fumbled through most of his teenage years, but as someone graceful and alluring. I look down at the dress hugging my form, the soft lace tickling my arms, and for a moment, I feel a burst of confidence. Her fingers trail up to my chin, coaxing my gaze back to hers, her eyes sparkling with mischief and delight. I always knew you'd make a gorgeous girl, she continues, her words wrapping around me like a sweet melody. Her lips press gently against mine, a kiss laden with promise and encouragement. In this moment, enveloped by the rich fabric of my gown and the intoxicating scent of her perfume, I feel an exhilarating rush of femininity, a delightful, liberating embrace of the identity I've tiptoed around in solitude. As we pull away, her smile is genuine and encouraging. You should see yourself, Dylan. Really see yourself. She hands me a compact mirror, her smile never wavering. I take the mirror, hands trembling slightly, not from fear, but from a burgeoning sense of identity. The reflection staring back at me is both foreign and familiar, a tentative bridge between who I was and who I could be. The makeup, the dress, the soft curls framing my face, they all piece together parts of me I've only dared to explore in dreams. Thank you, I murmur, my voice a soft echo of newfound joy. I, I love feeling like this. And you look marvelous, she asserts warmly, looping her arm through mine, anchoring me in this new reality with kindness and love. Let's show the world how beautiful you are. As we step forward together, her confidence lends strength to my tentative steps. Tonight, under the stars, I'm not just dressed as a girl, I am embracing a hidden part of my soul, feeling more whole than ever before. As we step through the throng of people gathered for the party, their eyes turn toward us. A flutter of nerves washes over me, but she squeezes my hand reassuringly. Her presence is a fortress, and within its walls, I find the courage to hold my head high. The murmur of voices blends into the soft music playing in the background. A few curious glances are cast our way, some lingering longer than others. I catch snippets of conversations, feel the weight of scrutiny, but she is unfazed, guiding me with a gentle assertiveness that makes me feel like we are the only two people in the room. Remember, you are beautiful, she whispers, as if reading the doubt creeping into my mind. Her affirmation is a lifeline thrown across the waters of my insecurity. As we mingle and move, I start to relax. The dress, once a symbol of my hidden desires, now feels like armor, elegant and empowering. Compliments are given, politely and sometimes with surprise, and I respond with a gratitude that grows steadier with each word. Then, amidst the soft clinking of glasses and laughter, an old friend approaches. His gaze flickers with confusion, then recognition. Dylan, he asks, his tone a mixture of surprise and curiosity. My heart skips a beat, bracing for judgment, but she steps slightly in front of me, her body language open and welcoming. Yes, this is Dylan, she says with pride. Doesn't she look wonderful tonight? His eyes widen slightly, and then a warm smile breaks across his face. Yeah, you do, actually. It's, different, but good different, he admits, and something in me soars. The acceptance in his words, simple and unadorned, feels like a victory. As the evening unfolds, each interaction builds upon the last, creating a tapestry of moments that weave a new narrative of my life. I laugh more freely, the sound mingling with the rustle of my dress. I move more confidently, each step a declaration. I am more myself than I have ever been, embraced not only by her but by a community I feared might reject me. Later, as the night winds down and the cool air settles around us, we step outside for a moment of quiet. The stars are brilliant above, the moon a silvery crescent. She turns to me, her eyes reflecting the night sky. How do you feel? She asks, her voice tender. I feel, right, I reply, the truth resonant in my words. Like I'm finally starting to understand who I am. She pulls me close, and we stand there, under the vast expanse of the cosmos, my heart beating a rhythm of newfound freedom. Tonight was not just about dressing up or stepping out, it was about stepping into myself, fully and unapologetically. And as I lean into her embrace, I know this is just the beginning of my journey.